Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We need to talk about Cadena. We really, really, really need to talk about Cadena. Now, I'm not sure, like, the similarities with the Italian language when they've, they went about choosing their name. But in Italian, we have a similar word that means chain. So maybe, maybe that was the reason why they went with such a name. But we're going to talk about this because we've, obviously, we've seen the price rise that's happened down there in the marketplace. And why do we need to talk about this? And, and what are the potentials? Are you too late to the party? I'm going to first go through everything that's going on and then talk about some of the projections that have been thrown out there in the market. And then I'm going to show you the coin market cap of, and then we, let's talk about where we're going with this. But I want your feedback as well, right? If you've been in Cadena, if you've been in Cadena longer than me, if you know more about it, please, you know, like we, we, we want to know more as, you know, new projects uh, come on the channel. But the opportunity is there, right? So build the future on Cadena. Now build without compromise. Cadena makes blockchain work for everyone. The ecosystem provides the security of Bitcoin, virtually free gas, unparalleled throughput, and smarter contracts. Plug us in, deploy, and scale. So safer, smarter contracts, no cost transactions, almost no cost, energy efficient at scale, proven security and industrial scalability. Okay, all right, let's have a look. So some of the partners involved, oh, yeah, well, you know, I mean, you've got Ledger, Polkadot, Wrapped, Terra, Flux, Cosmos, Coin Metro. I mean, that's, that's a pretty decent uh, list uh, already. Now, from a complete package point of view, it's very, very interesting, right? So DeFi, NFT, and payments, so you can build that, um, interop and relays. Every day, Cadena builders leverage what no other blockchain has, trustless, no party, no party trust neither, decentralized, constrained transfers. And soon, transactions will be able to be executed seamlessly across Ethereum, Celo, and Terra, powered by Cadena's chain relay bridge. You can also mine Cadena as well. And we'll talk a little bit about that today and we'll leave that for, you know, for future videos. Now, from a governance point of view, from an engineering for real world use point of view, that's where a lot of people are starting to really get behind this. There's a lot of stuff on this website, big community already involved and a project that has been around and a lot of people have been working on this for a long time. So it's not been something that does just come out of nowhere. It may have come out of nowhere in your radar, but this has been around for a while. Now the docs.cadena.io is a great place to start when doing your research, like, and start to do your research. So Cadena was founded on the idea that blockchain could revolutionize how the world interacts and transacts. But to get to the mass adoption, chain technology and ecosystems co connecting to the business world needed to be reimagined from the ground up. And that's where the chain architecture has been created to make blockchain work for businesses at speed, at scale, at energy efficiency. And I think they've nailed it. Like I really, really, really think they've nailed it. Now, prior to the launch in 2016, the founders were already leaders in blockchain and cryptocurrency solutions. So we got Stuart Pope, Pope Joy led JP Morgan's emerging blockchain group. And there's some great interviews out there. Like when you start to do your research, there's a one hour interview on YouTube around Canada that it is worth every single minute of that hour to understand and go through it. Am I gonna tell you what's in there? No, that's your job, right? I'm the serpent. I'm bringing this to you. Then it's your job to actually research everything that I'm telling you. Now, the token economic model, how that works, so the token emissions, the mining, how that, how that is going to go through. Now, the mining emission, over the course of the years from 2021 to 2040 how like that's the sort of longevity like look that this this particular platform has right now this is an important aspect of your research like how it's going to go how the emission schedule is going to go between now and uh, you know 2029 you think 2029 is far away, but it really isn't. 
time goes very, very, very quickly. Just ask the people that, you know, were buying Bitcoin when it was like $100, how quickly 10 years has gone. It goes very quick. And I want you to take it seriously because I think that they've nailed a key component to surviving the bear market and having a longevity within the chains, right? We look at old coins and we look at all the projects at the moment in the top 100. By the time we get to 2023, maybe even three quarters of them won't be around because they are there at the moment either because of hype or because of big promises which they may not be able to deliver. But I think this one could actually survive the bear market and then thrive as we move forward and as the masses begin to come into the crypto world. So take a look, spend the time to really research and understand what is going on. And if you look at, you know, 70% is going to go to the miners. And again, do your research around that, right? You might be interested in it, you might be not. A bit of a, you know, at the moment, a lot of people thinking, oh, well, is mining over? Is it even worth the fees? Just take a look. Take a look. You might be surprised. Now, it is, you know, like there's, you know, background from Microsoft, there's background from Google, there's background of people that have worked at JP Morgan, the SEC, Microsoft, Google, the partners involved as well, star started the wallets that are about to be involved, the NFT space, so the NFT space that, that they're going to be playing in, only a few exchanges at the moment. So not many exchanges at all. You know, the actual ecosystem right now is relatively new. And the Cadena Pact 4.0 versus Solidity, like with unlimited scalability, TPS, PAL, DEX, Pact, NFT, DAO, Bond, Chain Relay, it's the currently the only scalable proof of work layer one smart contract blockchain. So I think I think this has got some some decent legs on it. Now the chain web expandability. I often talk about this. When I first got onto uh, Phantom, that's one of the things that stood out to me was scalability when the world starts to come into crypto. And this could be another one of those. Now, follow the social media accounts, hit the alarm bell, do the right thing, research, be up to date, understand what is going on, what is happening, I'm, like I said, not many people know about this yet. And then if you go on CoinMarketCap, you can actually see all the places that you can purchase it from right now. But you can get it on KuCoin as well. Now, let's let's play a game. You know, market cap of. Let's say where we are right now. And I'll refresh this so we get the accurate price. And by the way, the code is KDA. Now... Let's look at this, right? And then let's say we go for the meme coin that's currently in the market cap. We would sit at $207.16. I mean, if a meme coin can get where it is, why can't this? So that, that I mean, we're talking about a 10x from here. Just, you know, against the meme coin. If it is the next Solana, like a lot of people are talking about it being the next Solana, then it would go 26x and it would sit at $519. Now let's, you know, let's all, you know, let's all calm down. No, I, 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 don't, I don't think we're, I, I personally do not believe we're going anywhere near this throughout this bull run. But from a senior investor in Cadena, I'd love to know your input about where do you think this bull run, this particular blockchain will end? Because I, I think that if a meme coin can get into the top 10, I think we can get to this price. And I think it's out of the question. Now they do have a cool Discord community. Chuck it in, you know, go check it out. You know, like jump in, listen to the conversations that are being had, you know, the swap, the main net feed. They've also got a section on mining. So mining tools, mining general, mining bot, all of that stuff, you know, for frequently asked questions and all that. So check it out, you know, do, do, do your research. 
now from a developer point of view, there are developer tutorials that you can get a, a better understanding of what it's like to develop on, uh, on Kadena. The other thing is the overview has some really cool videos and lots and lots of things, uh, you know, like blockchain 101, the chain web layer one, the article how to scale a proof of work blockchain, you know, that everything is in here. You know, from a public summary point of view, you know, you got you got every page that you could want in right here at, at the at <laughs> like at the, at the click of a button you can understand why a lot of people are getting really 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 excited around this and I, and I get it the more I research the more I understand the more I, I'm, I'm beginning to see what they see I wish I saw it earlier of course but we're not late we are not late to the party what does the KDA token do what is the, uh, the Cadena's token economic model what is the total token supply you know, what, what is the total number of tokens in circulation? Because to, token supply and token, tokens in circulation are two completely different topics. Please research about that and understand that as well. Then, you know, on, uh, on GitHub, tons of information that you can get. Tons and tons and tons of information that you can understand if you want to know more about that. The roadmap is also available online so that you can understand, you know, what are sort of some of the milestones that are going to be coming up in the not too distant future. So you got that available to you as well. But you know, Cadena.io, like from a website point of view, there is so much on here. You know, you can explore the DAP templates, view the source, get the tools, you know, from an ecosystem point of view. Look, for me, looks like that they've really, really worked on it and really thought about how to stand out from the crowd. And I think they've done it. Like I think that they've done a really Really, really good job. And then useful tools as well, like plenty of useful tools available for developers to make it as easy as possible for them to jump on and, and learn about it, right? So very, very extensive amount of research ahead of you to figure out whether it's, it, it should become part of your part of your portfolio or not. Where, where to from here? Well, from where we are right now, I think, you know, like it's got every opportunity to head towards, you know, your $88 to $100. From where it is right now as more and more people start to mass adopt it as more people start to get onto this particular blockchain and build on the blockchain and its ecosystem grows i mean it's not on binance it's not on coinbase it's virtually not it's not there's not many places that it's currently on so from that point of view if we go back to this I think, you know, I think it's got every opportunity to get to around here. How quickly will it do it? How fast is that going to go? Nobody can tell you, right? I mean, at the moment, it's it's breaking previous all-time highs all the time. There is no back data. That's the thing about new projects, right? So it could go to 207 within months. It could go to 207 within six months because there is no back data to, to go back on. And it's all about scalability and more and more people getting on and getting on it. Does it have though, the question is, does it have the potential to get to 207? And to that, the answer is yes. The potential to get to 207 is there. Will it? That only time can tell. And time we do have. Now, if you learned something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you. And I look forward to see you on the next one.